Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding generate and generate all function in Power BI. Both these functions are used to create table. It will create a table with the Cartesian products of another two tables. So when you go to the details, Cartesian product of another two tables means, okay, this we are having one table and this is the second table. In this table, we are having three rows. And here also they are having three rows. So the resultant table will be three into three. That will be nine rows. So if one table is having two rows and another table is having three rows, the resultant table for the generate as well as the generate all will create will be that three into two, that will be six rows. Now here we are having three into three. So that is nine rows that is generating. That is what we can see here. This is the new table which we have created using generate and we are having nine rows. That means, okay, the first row will be matching with all the three. The second row will be matching with all the three and the third row will be matching with all the three in the second table. The same way, almost similar thing for generate, even though the sequence is different, but the resultant is same in both the thing. Generate and generate all functions. The details you can see the generate returns a table with the Cartesian product between each row in table one and the table that result from the evaluating table two in the conduct of current row from the table. So this row it will be taking and it will take the row in the table two, the second row in the table two and the third row in the table. The same way generate all also it will return the table with the Cartesian product between each row in table one and the table that results from the evaluating table two in the conduct of the current row from table one similar to generate function. But the difference between these two is the evaluation of table two for the current row in table one returns an empty table then the resultant table will not contain the current row from table one here if you see here we are having id one two three the same id one two one and two is there in the second table but the third id is not in the second table instead of that four id four is four is now there in the table so we are generating the new table from table one to table two that means it is almost like an inner join if you if you know the joins in power query we are having inner join left out or join this is almost like inner join and left out or join that means generate is like inner join so whichever ids matches only that will be displayed so so this is the generate id if you are just giving now here simply we have used generate for two tables now if you wanted the related table between these two the resultant will be like an inner join so one day the matching ids will be displayed one and two so this fourth id this id four will be omitted but if you do it in a reverse way that means if you are doing it in table two comma related table table one so that time this three will be omitted and this one and two will be only there and four also will be omitted so now here if you see both these rows are omitted one row from table one and another row from table two is omitted but the difference in generate all is that table two will have null values for that the result and omitted value so what happens is you are giving generate all for table one related to table two that means it will act like an less doctor job so whatever rows are there in table one it will display the same and whatever matching rows are there in the table two that will be also displayed the remaining will be blank it will be showing what blank or null values null it will be treated as null it will be showing blank but when you use the same two table for generate that will be acting as an inner join and it will be showing the exact match value the same way if you are using a calculate function and if you are calculate table function and if you are filtering it with respect to any of the values now if you are filtering it with subject s1 only this value will be shown but at the same time for generate all all the all the rows of the table one will be shown and the exact matching of the second row only will be shown so we will go and take an example now we are having one page and we are having a small data set that is products and stock and we are having the product table here and product table is having product id and product name and same we are having another table called stock of the products we are having stock product id and stock location so here we are having product id one two three four product id and the product id with same product id we are having in the another table called stock and the stock location where the product id is available is shown the next column called location so we are having two products in the same location co and we are having one product in ca and another product in new but this uh, 1005 that product id is not shown in this product table the same way 1004 product name is also not shown in stock table so we will use that simple generate table function we will create a new table and we will use the simple generate function we can name it as generate products equals to simply use generate and 
the two tables one is products and the next one is stock so here we can see product is having four rows inside and stock is also having four rows inside so it will be four into four that will be 16 rows will be coming in the resultant table so if you calculate 16 rows will be there so one thing you have to know is that this all the column rows should be different in name so it should not be like two you should not write another product id here so this one this should be unique column names so now we got the pro general generate products id so we got the product so now we will be creating another table and we will display it so we got the generate products and we have product id and no need to summarize that and we have the stock id and that also no need to summarize and now we have the product name as well as the product location now if you see you have 16 rows here we have four into four that is 16 rows for general and if you see 1001 this is the product id from the first table four times it is taking the same and the four times it is going and checking the row by row and it is taking the product id from the second table and it is showing the research so now we will generate the table using generate all functions so we will create a new table and we can name it as generate all products equals generate all and just products and stock and if you see here also exactly 16 posts we have got and exactly the same result we have achieved so if you select the table here and if you select each and every product you will get the product id stock id product name and location it is almost similar so this is by using generate all if you check both the tables it will be similar in both the tables so if you see like this there is no difference between generate and generate all but when you want to get the exact results that is okay now these two ids are not matching only this ID is matching with this ID. These are and all are not matching. So there is no relation between these. Just simply a Cartesian product we got. Now we need to get the relation between these two and we need to get the exact results. So we need to find out how many books are there exactly in each location. How many books are there in each stock? How many books are there as stock in each location? We need to find out. So how we can find out? Through an inner joint, we can find out if it is an SQL or SQL query. So the same way you can use here, you can use the generate function and you can get the result for that. So go to the table and create the new table. You can create generate stocks first generate function and you can get the products and you need to find the relation between the products and the stock so you can use the related table and you can check stock table and that's it you will get the result see only these three rows we are getting the result we have exact relationship between product id and stock product id only three rows so the one first books are there in ca pens and pencils are there in co so we can create a table for that and get the product name stock id product name and location so we have got this table we wanted to get the products in the location so we have used generate and use the related function and you got the exact products which is almost like in a job now we will use the same function for generate all and we will see what the result we are going to get so we can create new table generate all stocks equals to generate all products and we will give related table and stocks so you know actually three only three are exactly matching but when we are using generate or the other one that means the first tables value is also there but the corresponding table no since no value is there it will be showing as blank once you create the table you will understand so we have the product id stock id product name and location so you can see the difference here both we got the same result this is like an inner joint and this is like a left outer joint the first tables all the rows are shown but the second tables only the matching rows are shown here all the matching rows are shown the remaining they have truncated so that is the basic difference between generate and generate all another example for that is if you are using a calculate function if you are filtering this if you want to display the location for only co the same thing you will get only these two rows the remaining rows nothing will be displayed but here all the rows will be displayed only the map including the matching rows with co we will try that also we will create a new table generate products with respect to co equals to generate products and next is a table so you have to use calculate table and here that is stocks 
and stocks what uh, what it is so stock location equals to co so only two rows we got so exact matching it is like almost exact matching you will be getting exact query it will be and the result it will be shown in generate you can create a table for that also and you can see so generate product co you can get the product id product name stock id and location so you can see here for color order location we got exact matching of two rows that is these two products here also if you see these two products two and three product id two and three we got but if you do the same thing in generate all we will be getting these four rows but exact matching also will be you can try that also you can create new table generate all products co equals to generate all products and you can use calculate calculate table and table name is stock and the location equals to co here you see all the four rows from the first table is displayed along with the matching one the second table but the other values in the second table which is showing as null so we can create a table and we can display that also that the product id stock id product name stock id and location so this is the exact difference we can understand so here we are using the generate function to get the products in the location of colorado and we got the exact matching and we got the exact two rows that are matching in both the tables here by using the generate all function we are getting the first table exactly all the rows and the exact matching of the second table also but we are not getting any of the values from our, the second table the same thing here also for matching we used a related table and the exact matching it was almost like an inner join we got the result and here generate all it almost acted like a left over join the first table was displayed and the second table only the matching rows were displayed this is a basic difference between generate and generate all function hope this was a useful video have a nice day